Hey guys, you're watching a StarCraft 2 Cop Mutation. I am CDG, and we're gonna be doing another a run on bad weather. This time we're gonna be using commanders who will not be able to uh, build a bunch of static defense at the start. Excuse me, I meant um, not be able to build a bunch of uh, units at the start. Ready? Yeah, so I'm gonna be playing a Swan and my ally Greyback. We playing as a, uh, or excuse me, I'll be playing as Vorjin and my ally Swan will be playing a Swan. So, the plan here will be to stick on one base, Corporal Faraday reporting in with a sort of wall off with a bunch of uh, siege tanks, cloaked pylons, turrets, etc. And snipe the void shards using Swan's laser drill with my Corsairs, cloaked, providing vision. Now, you might have seen a similar strategy on Cold is the Void. Where uh, I sort of, yeah, I asked my Swan ally to sort of uh, defend while I use Dark Templar to snipe the, uh, to snipe the trains. So this time's gonna be a little different. I'll use my, I'll use my, uh, my Corsair to provide vision and sort of tickle, tickle the void, void shards. But my ally will also be in charge of. Uh, Using his laser drill to kill off uh, the void shards. So, uh, I'll be walling off here. The first void shards will appear, or the first void rips will appear in about 2 minutes 20 seconds, or not approximately, exactly at 2 minutes 20 seconds. And we already have a wall. Now, I should have moved, I should have moved that dark pile a little bit back. I didn't need power. I didn't need a power field, so that was a little bit of a mistake. I could I could have moved that dark pile a little, a little bit back, so it still cloaks my allies' base and yet uh, is far enough back that they will not be able to get hit by the enemy. Anyway, let's put down another dark pile in here. So our entire entrance, all three entrances to our base, are cloaked. So our allies gonna be able to uh, kill off the entire. It was really nice. You can see that. <laughs> you can see that the enemy is trying to get through, but they can't because of the cloaked wall. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start a uh, couple stargates. Okay, so my uh, my nice swans are repairing the dark pylon. That's that's brilliant. He's gonna start another turret here, Blaster Billy. Our allies base is under attack. Meanwhile, I'm just getting up, uh, getting upgrades, or I'm getting yeah, warp gate research, and then uh, sort of just working on waiting, waiting on my stargates to be available. Okay, I also got a dark shrine. Time now. Be ready to attack. Use my shadow guard. Snipe this. Void rift, and then move over. I'm still gonna be, I'm still gonna be uh, looking to. Oh wow! Even with, even with time stop, the twister still throw my forces around. Yeah, let's sort of uh, work on those. Okay, my allies clearing out this area. Okay, clean those guys up, and start working on the void shard. Okay. I'll still get Shadow Fury, because I'll need a bunch of uh, Shadow or Shadow, uh, Dark Templar at the front of the, at the front of the wall, just to add additional firepower. Can okay, get a cannon here for detection. And that's how it's done. Oh wow! Good work. Just got to do the same to the rest of them. Those Aries are really strong. Are Destroying them is your main objective. Okay. Why did this? Why did this uh, pylon go down? Anyway, I rebuild my defenses there, and uh oh, I have we have no anti-air. <laughs> we have no anti-air. Okay, let's see. The, let's get a cannon there. Let's see our corsair. Uh -oh. The corsair will probably not have a favorable engagement for scouts. You might think that they can't see, but they do. Every Poros wave will come with an observer. Oh, Refs Core Hall after the second 
after the second or from the second wave onwards. So we'll actually need to. Okay, yeah, you can see that observer over there. Okay, now let's up. Uh, let's try to skirt around the defense. Okay. Oh wait, I already I already do have a fleet beacon. Mmm, fleet bacon. See the shadow guard there. Just try to work on these uh these void rifts. Clean those out. So yes, the plan is to just defend versus the void rifts, but if we can uh, if we can lessen the amount of uh the amount of units that go into our base early on, that'll be a really big help to our ally. Since uh, we're gonna be sticking on one base here. I mean, we can go two base, but they'll probably be tricky to defend. Okay, I po just pop. Uh, I just pop the time stop right away, since not only does it uh, allow my allow my corsairs to get in place, but that also. Uh, that also delays the that also delays the spawning of the void rifts. Some of you may not know, may not know this, but time stop actually delays the uh, the void rift spawning by 20 seconds, and that's a big deal. If I if I use three time stops, I'll gain a whole minute of a uh, free time or uh, three minutes of reprieve from the void rifts. Or a whole minute of reprieve from the void rifts, and that's actually a big deal. One of our pylons is under enemy fire. You can see that my allies is working on this area in front of the uh, the void shard, whereas I'm sort of tickling, <laughs> slowly tickling on that void shard. Yeah, they'll get there eventually. <laughs> But yeah, uh, one of the things I always tell, I always say is that whenever you have time stop available, just use it. Even if there's no, at the very first, uh, at the very beginning of the map, just use it. There's a, there's no point saving it since the objective will usually be, will usually be, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, will usually be avail or time stop will usually be available once again. Uh, by the time the objective comes out, such as on uh, on Void Launch. So it looks like, amazingly, we're going to be able to take out this Void Shard using Corsairs! <laughs> and of course our allies laser drill, don't forget that. Let's try to skirt around with these guys. Okay. That's a good time every time. Uh oh. Uh oh. They see my Corsairs. I so need to sort of, uh. Sort of run away. Sort of run away from these, uh. From the attack wave. Okay. Now we can resume working on that. Void shard? There we go. Oh, right. <laughs> Yeah, that thing does nothing to air units, so I'm sort of going to be able to uh, work on that Void Shard. You can see my allies already is already uh, poised with a great defense. Okay. Kill off that Void Shard, or Void Rift. Run back. Okay. Great turret by my ally. You can see that even though the enemy is air based, everything still comes through uh, through one side. We are not completely surrounded like with uh, like with coldness of void, which is why this strategy this strategy is even easier to pull off, because we don't need to completely ring our ring our defenses or ring our base with defenses. We just need to hunker down at three points. So it's easier to defend with one base. Okay, let's get a Dark Templar there. There are two Void Rifts just to the north. 
or yeah, at my expansion area, you can clearly see the vo the, uh, the voice shards of Ganesh by Dark Templar. Just knife these off. And just sort of uh, move around there. Okay, recall these uh, Corsairs. Well done. Okay. Scanners are picking up multiple void shards. Hey, just sort of work on the, work on those void groups. We have another one. Will be upon us soon. Okay, we're gonna be we'll be we're gonna be able to clear clear out that one. Allied forces are under attack. The sky is okay. The There's a cannon there, so I'm gonna use my shadow guard. Sort of clear out some defenses. Mm, we're gonna be able, we're still gonna be, we're still gonna need to clear out these cannons though. So we should just right click on them. There we go. Now that that's done, we can use our corsair to start working on this void chart once again. There we go. And that's just uh, gonna deal damage right there, which is nice. Okay, they have Void Rift, but... Oh, that's a whole fleet of Void Rifts. Okay, let's uh, Black Hole. Nice! Our ally saw it. He was able to clear out the entire wave with just the uh, Concentrate Beam. Okay. So that's the easy part, that uh, that Void right in the corner, but... The next challenge for me will be to... Find a way around the defenses. Yeah, that, that basically ends the easy part. Of the mission. Time oh, time stop. We have a time stop. Attack our enemies while time is so we, we just need to uh, skirt around and yeah, find a corner. Okay, I'll need to. Our ally will need to clear out these uh, photon cans though. Okay, our ally drops up uh, the Ares. Okay, the cans are cleared, so I can resume working on this void shard. Okay, there's another one back there, but. It's not. Oh, how, how can they how can they still see my corsairs? Oh, there's another cannon there. Okay, the let's go around the back instead. Your there we go. Okay, use those dark templar to snipe that void rift. Okay, we seem to have found a safe spot. There we go. Five down, and let's start to. Yeah, this is a bit a little annoying. <laughs> you can't you can go around the back, but there's sort of an air wall. Yeah, even recalling, even recalling will not work. Okay, you sort of work on this uh this void shard. Oh wow, of course, oh, oracles. Oracles are so annoying to deal with. Okay. Now let's uh. Stretch, commanders. One more group of shards actually, we're actually supply block. These Look at that. Just don't learn, do they? Okay. Commanders, it's time to educate them. Let's move over. At last, show Try to see how we can get around. Okay, let's pull back. Okay, there, I think there's a thin part of the defenses here. Yeah, there we go. We can sort of uh, take some hits there. Ooh. Okay, so I'll need to find a way to sort of uh. Yeah, let's try to kill that. Let's try to kill that boy drift. Yeah, this is going to be sort of my staging ground. Uh oh, kill that raven. There we go. Okay. So, this is, this last space is going to be somewhat tricky since uh, I'll need to find a foothold. I'll need to find a foothold to be able to get on there. Let's get some more Dark Templar. Okay, so I'm just about ready to... Uh, Okay, time stop. And Ares. 
deploy Dark Pylon, and then recall my Dark Templar. Try to work on... Try to work on these, uh... These defenses. Oh, yeah, that's Void Shard. That, that Void Rift needs to, uh, needs to die. There we go. Okay. Oh, we sort of need to kill that, uh... Kill that Photon Cannon. There we go. So that the enemy will no longer be able to detect our stuff. Void race though. Well, that dark pile is gonna fall, but the the main issue is we're going to be able to go around the defense. Let's see if we can. Okay. Okay. Let's try to sit at sit, 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 sit this location. And just sort of uh, sort of hold out. Another two Void Rifts gonna be spawning there. You can easily take those out. And... That Mothership is, I think, cloaking the, uh... Oh, no, it isn't. There we go. Now we can see everything. And... I think... Yeah, there's a cannon right in front of the, uh, the Void Shard. So that means, I think... <laughs> the spot where I am... Is basically the only safe spot at the back. So, what I'll probably need to do here is finish off that void shard, and then, when time stop is ready, I'll deploy a dark pylon just where my corsairs are standing, and then drop time stop, and then sort of snipe the last two. I'm gonna, I'm gonna gather all my army in that location. This is sort of a uh, Get as much stuff as I can, and then try to kill the last, the last two void shards using my Dark Templar. Okay. Look at how many void rifts are on the map, though. There are so many. Okay. I also have so many Dark Templar, though. That's surprisingly a lot. Okay. We're just about ready. Uh, we, we're just waiting for time stop, really. Maybe we should use Shadow Guard. Let's try to use Shadow Guard. Switch off that stasis thing. Try to snipe off that cannon. Come on. Okay, that works too. <laughs> okay, let's drop a dark, uh, dark pylon. Recall. Recall. And then go, go, go. Time stop. Okay, we have one shot. Right click on that voice shard, and then right click on the other one. Come on. Last one. Come on, come on, kill it. Woo! <laughs> GG. <laughs> okay, that worked. That worked really well. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. If you have an idea for it, else you can do, please leave that in a comment. And let's see the score screen. My ally is probably going to have thousands of kills because he's the one defending. Swan generally in this type of strategy, yeah, you can see Swan in this type of strategy will have more kill. Oh, look at that damage dealt to Void. Actually, did actually did more damage to Void Charge this game, huh? Looks like I wasn't uh, just a spotter. All right, though. See you.